Welcome to Meow Mix Video Tutorials. Today we're going to walk you through Koopash. First you need to download it, extract it, and put it inside of a folder. I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again. Let's go inside. Inside the folder you'll notice a bunch of files. Three folders up top, a bunch of files down the middle. We're missing two files. They're over here. At least for me they are. Text Converter and NT Compress. You're not going to find them in our downloads, so you need to find them online somewhere. Next, you're going to want to run step1.extract.bat. This will take a little while. Pause the video, keep going. Once it's done, unpause the video. What that's going to do is dump everything from the common 5 file into this templates folder. As you can see, Everybody's CSPs are sitting right here. King DDD, Diddy Kong, I, Kirby, Link, Mario, Luigi, everybody. Today we're gonna edit Ike. Not just neutral Ike though. We're gonna modify Ike2 underscore big. Open it up into Photoshop. You can either do that by right clicking and clicking open with Photoshop or just dragging it straight into Photoshop. It doesn't matter. While that's opening, you might want to, you may be wondering how I'm viewing all these in thumbnail view. There's a plugin for Windows anyway that's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it'll let you view TGAs as thumbnails. I highly suggest it. Alright, now that we're open here, we have Ike. We're going to highlight him. So hold the mouse down, highlight him, copy him using Control C. I'm going to be using a lot of shortcuts here, so bear with me. New file. Since you've copied him, his exact size proportions should be your new file size. This background over here needs to change to a layer. Right click on it, select layer from background. Click OK. Go ahead and highlight this white background and delete it. That'll make it transparent. Now, we need to go find your picture that you've taken off of your Wii. Now we have this open in Photoshop. Go ahead and select the magic wand tool. I've got my tolerance level at 22. Something different might work better for you. Be sure to get all these little hidden spots like under legs and under arms. Now, I hit delete here, but I didn't mean to. Undo that. We need this to be a layer from background also. Hit OK. Now that it's a layer, once we delete this, it becomes transparent instead of white. All these little squares mean transparent. Now select Image, Mode, Indexed Color. If I go too fast, just push pause. Local Perpetual. Your color number may differ from mine because I've been dinking around with a bunch of other stuff. What you need is to go check out your old little Ike picture. Image, mode, index color, check out what his is. 230. Alright, click cancel. Let's head back over to your image. Image, mode, index color. We need his to be 230. Mine already is. Change yours accordingly. Now that we've indexed this guy, let's check his color table. The color table is a list of colors that's used to make this picture. We're going to save it. Make sure you save it somewhere recognizable like your desktop or something. I'm going to name mine Ike Color Table. That one. Why not? Now that that's saved, click OK. How about your blank image? Should still be transparent doing absolutely nothing. Alright. Image, mode, index color. I know, we're indexing it already. Scary. Local perpetual. Perceptual, excuse me. 230. That's what the last one was. Might as well keep it the same, right? Some characters will not like that. Some characters need to be lower than what their original picture is. But for Ike, it's the same. Color table. Oh, a whopping three colors. Okay, let's load our color table that we saved from our last Ike image. This will make sure that it's perfectly accurate as far as colors go. However, we don't want this transparency square here. Click on it. We need to change this to be magenta. Now magenta for brawl is 2550255. Click OK. 
Now that that is there, we won't have anything transparent, however we will have magenta instead. Brawl interprets magenta as transparent, so this is good. We need to fill this gray spot that's appeared with magenta. Five, click OK. Fill. Alright, great. Now we have magenta. Let's head back over to your image. It's transparent, it's already indexed for us. Now we've got to highlight. Copy it with Control C. Head back over to your small image that you're making. Paste. Now this is crucial. See all these dotted blinking lines here? We want to keep that. Don't click your mouse anywhere or else it'll go away. If you accidentally make it go away, push Control Z. Notice how there's no other layers. You're actually modifying that exact piece because this is indexed. Hold down Shift while you're changing the size to keep it proportional. Make sure everything matches up and fits. Move around with your arrow keys as desired. Hit Enter when you're done. You should still have the blinking lines around it, however now you're not transforming the size. Head over here. Because it's selected, it'll also make it really easy to create an alpha channel. Alpha channel made. Oh, we've already got this part selected of it. Let's make it even better. Refine edge, make sure smooth is at zero. The default is one, I believe. As you can see, it's going to make it a little bit more fuzzy. Hit delete. This will turn it white, but it'll also leave a small, ghostly, uh, white border around it. That's it. You've added an alpha layer. Click on index so that you be sure you're saving the picture while it's looking like this. Awesome. Push Control S. That'll bring you to the save selection screen. Scroll down to TGA file. Notice how alpha, alpha channels is not selected. Don't worry about it. Desktop. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. Let's rename it here. I'm going to name mine. Let's see. Which one was I modifying? Ike2 underscore big, I believe. Let's go make sure. As you can see, gold Ike is Ike2 underscore big. That's the one I want to modify, so that's what I'm going to name it. Save. Nice work. That's all for here. Let's minimize this window. As you can see, I've got it on my desktop over here. Head back to where you extracted the download from Yamix. See this new files folder? Jump in there. You're going to throw them inside this folder right here. I've already done this in the past. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I do. Now that you have them in there, go back one folder. Scroll down to step 2 underscore create. This will create your file. I'm not going to wait for it, so... Okay. Once it's done, up in this new files folder are three important folders now. Info, Menu, System. Let's highlight all these and copy them. Use right-click and click Copy or Control-C. Now, find your SD card that you have plugged in. Head through Private. We, app, or SBE, PF. Now, I already have these three folders in here because I've done this previously. However, once we paste these, right click, paste, it's going to ask you if you want to over, over immerse these two or overdo them. Go ahead and click yes if you want to. Copy and replace. have it. One last thing that's super important, inside the system files you need to erase your last one if you've done this previously, or in any case you need to rename the one that has underscore en to just common5.pack. This is crucial in making sure it works. Once you're done, eject it. Or safely remove it. 